Hey hydroponics fans, welcome back to the Proponics YouTube channel. I'm Charlie, your hydroponics educator. In today's video, we're troubleshooting one of the most common issues for hydroponic gardeners, nutrient deficiencies. Having the right balance of nutrients is crucial for your plants to thrive. An excess or shortage of key elements can cause major problems. We'll teach you how to quickly identify deficiencies by leaf appearances and other signs. We'll cover the optimal nutrient levels to aim for, and we'll share tips to correct nutrient issues and get your crop back on track. Let's get growing. First up, why do nutrient deficiencies happen in hydroponics? There are a few key reasons your plants may not be getting the full nutrition they need. Incorrect nutrient solution mixing, imbalanced pH affecting uptake, rapid growth rate depleting nutrients, cold temperatures inhibiting absorption. Pay close attention to the instructions when mixing your nutrients. Only use high quality trusted brands. Test and adjust the pH to stay within the optimal range of 5.5 to 6.5. Monitor the EC and PPM levels to ensure your solution is properly concentrated. Schedule regular reservoir changes to replenish nutrients and keep your system warm to aid uptake. Follow those best practices and deficiencies should be rare, but issues can still occasionally occur. Here's what to look for. Chlorosis. When leaves lose their green color, it indicates a nitrogen shortage. Purple stems and undersides also point to low nitrogen. With phosphorus deficiencies, leaves may turn dark green initially. Overall growth is stunted, leaves can become red or purple. Potassium deficiencies show as leaf tips scorching or browning. Older leaves develop dead spots, flowers and fruits are small. Magnesium deficiency starts with yellowing on leaf edges and margins. This is common in tomato plants. Sulfur deficiency turns all leaves yellow. They curl inwards from the edges. For calcium deficiency, the youngest leaves develop dead spots and appear twisted or mangled. This can also cause blossom end rot in fruit. Iron deficiency yellows the newest leaves. Magnesium deficiency looks similar but affects older leaves first. Boron deficiency causes stems and roots to rot. Leaves wither and thicken with necrotic spots. And fruit becomes misshapen. Zinc deficiency stunts leaves, creating chlorosis and wavy outlines. Copper deficiencies makes young leaves twist and turn darker green. Molybdenum deficiency starts with yellowing and curling leaf edges, spreading quickly. New growth also twists severely. Those are the vital symptoms to check for. Take note of which leaves are affected, old, new, or all over. This gives a clue to the deficient element. To confirm, test your nutrient solutions EC and pH. EC should be 1.5 to 2.5 millisiemens per centimeter. For pH, the target is 5.5 to 6.5. Levels outside the optimal range can trigger or worsen deficiencies. EC too low indicates dilute nutrients. High pH blocks absorption of iron, magnesium, boron, copper, and zinc. If you suspect deficiencies, the simplest fix is to empty your reservoir and make a fresh nutrient solution. Follow the mixing descriptions precisely. Start with a clean slate. For repeated issues, try a different brand of nutrients. Avoid cheap generic formulas. Invest in quality, trusted products. Hard water contains dissolved minerals that interfere with proper nutrition. Use filtered or distilled water for mixing nutrients. Or install a reverse osmosis system to remove impurities. Consider a reservoir temperature control to keep water temperature ideal for intake. Salt buildup from old solution can also inhibit nutrient absorption and stunt plants. Flush your system thoroughly to remove excess salts. Drain the reservoir completely, fill with distilled water, run the system for a few hours to leach salts from roots and growing medium. If deficiency symptoms are severe, you can correct them by foliar feeding through the leaves. Use a diluted liquid organic nutrient. Spray directly on affected plants twice a week, but fix the underlying issue to avoid lasting damage. 
With careful mixing and monitoring, you can avoid most efficiencies. Test pH and EC routinely, top off your reservoir and start fresh weekly or as needed. Robust, vibrant growth will follow. Let's recap the key points. Look for visual symptoms like chlorosis, leaf curling and necrosis. Check pH and EC levels against optimal ranges. Flush and replace nutrient solution. Use filtered water, not hard tap water, and supplement with foliar sprays if needed. If you like what you just saw, go ahead and click the link in the description to find a full detailed article on this video's topic. And if you learned something new today, hit that like button and let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more hydroponics educational content and visit proponics.co.uk for in-depth articles on all things hydroponics. Grow smarter with proponics. And until next time, happy growing.